Hi, this is Jaromir again, and uh, let me show you a bonus video. So, in this video I will show you some more stuff. So, for example, the, here is the cluster we built in the, uh, in the third video. So, let's clean it up, because we no longer need it. Uh, here we go, here's the DC and four nodes. Here we are, where we are locked into the, the DC, and here are the scripts uh, and some parent disks we did in the second uh, video and then uh, used into the third video. So let's do cleanup. It's again simple, so you just right click and run with PowerShell. You will see UAC prompt again. I see it on the second screen. The script will ask you uh, what you would want to clean up. It actually reads the lab con uh, the prefix uh, from the lab config, and based on the prefix, it will query the VMs, vSwitch, and the DC. And if you want to clean it up, you will just say yes. It will turn off the DC, revert the snapshot, delete it, and then clean up all the VMs. I mean, the VMs with a certain prefix. So as it's gone. I will show you how to hydrate a really nice scenario that I did. It's two S2D clusters and synchronously replicated to each other. So to, I will show you how I do develop some private scripts uh, I do use inside of Microsoft and I do distribute with my colleagues. So whenever you would like to do something in these scripts, just ask your favorite PFE and uh, Premier Field Engineer. And what you have to do is just to uh, copy the uh, top part, which is lab config, and where I keep all the configuration. It's compatible, so you can just copy it and just paste it into the lab config. So you just open it in the uh, in the notepad. You can just replace it with this line I just copied from here, and just save it. If you do want to see it in the in the ISC, how it looks like now, it's basically the same. Oh, it's not. It's strange. It's probably cached, so let's rewrite it again. So see, uh, here's our blob config with domain admin name, which will not be effective, but this is kind of, uh, let's say, Easter egg, because netpile is the PM of the storage replica. And the prefix will be SR, and there will be switch name lab switch. There will be additional network, so we will have a dedicated network for replication between two clusters, and we will have two clusters, uh, two nodes will be called site one S two D, and then it will be S two D one S two D two, and second one will be uh, site two S two D, right? And it will have just uh, four four terabyte hard drives, and it will use nano servers. So let me save it, and now we will we will just uh, right click, uh, deploy, and run with PowerShell. It will again restart as administrator asks for a UAC prompt and deploy all the machines. I will pause the video now. So as you can see, the script just finished. It took like five minutes. And as you can see, we have uh, four machines, or actually five. We have DC and then four machines. For each side, we have two. So let's log in the DC, turn on the machines. So connect to the DC, turn on the machines, and this will be kind of boring, so I will just pause the video again. So I'm just locked into the DC, and as you can see, all the VMs are running. So what I will do now, I will just paste the script. As you can see, I'm writing the scripts in the PowerShell, uh, and it's in the Visual Studio code, and it's right uploaded to the GitHub, but this one is private, so you will have to ask your favorite PFE to provide you this code. So I will just run the, the elevated PowerShell and just right click to it. So this script is quite long because my pool laptop is not so, let's say, uh, powerful. So it will take like probably 45, 50, maybe one hour. And I will show you then the result. So I just pausing the video and see you soon. So the script just finished and as you can see it took 56 minutes as I said. So let's take a look what we have now. 
So we'll just open the failover cluster manager. And in failover cluster manager, we should be able to see two clusters. We'll take a bit of time. So let's connect to it. So we'll click connect to cluster. Click browse. And as you can see, you can see now two clusters, site one as our cluster and the site two as our cluster. So let's select first first one and then the second one. Okay, the first one and the second one. Browse, site two, click OK. So let's take a look. So both clusters, they have S2D enabled, as you can see here. And in the storage, you can see that there is a pool of the disks. 32 terabytes, because we have four, uh, four terabyte disks per node, and we have two nodes. Uh, we have some disks. In this case, they are just small, just 10 gigabytes. And as you can see here, you have data one, which is online. And data one is replicated to the second cluster and synchronous replicated. And data two is re replicated from the second cluster to this one. On the data one, there are two VMs, which are running in the site one. And on the site two, there are also two VMs, but these two VMs are running on the disk two which is online on the second cluster. And again, the first uh, disk is offline or no access because this one is replicated from the first cluster to the second one. And also I will show you what networks do we have here. So as you can see, we have one SMB network and one management. This is uh, like a converged networking when I have uh, simulation of the two port uh, NIC. And then using the uh, vSwitch, are presenting three network adapters, one for management and two for the SMB. And then replica network, which is one dedicated network for the replication. And uh, using PowerShell, it's configured that uh, this network will be, uh, will be used as a replication network. Uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.